welcome everyone. It's Gina here from Expanding Consciousness and Denise from Sound Alchemy. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Denise and I have been exploring waters for the last year or so. We've been on a bit of a journey uh, discovering it and building a relationship with waters, um, mainly in New Zealand, but a little bit overseas as well. And I get asked the question frequently, what is it that we're doing? That's a really difficult question to ask because uh, we are guided um, spontaneously from our own management team, <laughs> our own guides who um, give us instructions about what to do and that can change every day and every time that we go out to explore the waters. But today I wanted to give you an example of what we do. So Denise and I are currently in different locations. Um, I'm currently visiting the Hamilton Waikato region of New Zealand. And Denise, whereabouts are you? I'm in Havelock North in Hawke's Bay. So we're in different locations. So this um, is an example of when Denise and I aren't physically in the same location together and we aren't physically by a water source right now. Um, often the work that we do is that we are actually visiting water and working with water physically. But this is an example of how you can do it through distance, through intention and connecting through the energies. Um, and we allow our guides to help facilitate that um, transmission and relationship that we're building via distance. So um, today we're going to do a transmission. Denise is going to do some light language. I'm going to do some quantum energy alchemy. And if you'd like to join in and participate, you can. You can just watch if you like. But if you'd like to participate and receive the transmission, one, you can ask for your own energy body to receive the transmission, but you might also want to get a bottle or a glass of water and um, just ask that water to sort of play with you. Um, and allow it to be structured to the sounds and the energy and the light that's been transmitted today. And then drink that water or pour the water into a water source close to you, which might be a lake, a pond, um, might be a plant into a plant that you've got or a tree or into the ocean. That's up to you. That's spreading the transmission light and energy received from today's transmission all around the world. Um, and it also helps to structure the water within you because you are at least 70% water, if not more. So um, if you'd like to participate in it, I also invite you to start breathing nice and deeply just to calm your own nervous system and just to start preparing yourself to receive. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to explain a little bit more about what we're doing today. So just before we got on the call, um, I was just chatting to my guides and said I felt really drawn to doing something live with Denise today and she was available, which was great. Um, so this is rather spontaneous. It's impromptu. We haven't like the, the light language that comes through from Denise. It's all unplanned. It's all just in the moment channeled. And I asked my guides, well, what water source are we going to tap into? And they took me all around New Zealand, actually, <laughs> but we concluded today to focus on Lake Taupo, uh, sometimes pronounced Lake Taupo, Lake Taupo, depends on what side of the, you know, the linguistics you're on, um, but Lake Taupo. So the reason why we're going to tap into that today energetically, my guides were explaining that when Lake Taupo, is actually a lake sitting on top of a volcano, and when it erupted around 1800 years ago at the time it was one of the largest eruptions that earth has had during the last 5,000 years and apparently during the last 20,000 years it's the largest within New Zealand's history um, but the significance around that my guides are saying was that from the galactic viewpoint a lot of the dust and the particles in the matter that erupted from Lake Taupo then actually did go past our atmosphere, Earth's atmosphere, and went into space. And my guides are saying that when they would see some of these little particles, they would get like tingles. It was almost like seeing tiny little diamonds of life force, which to us would just look like dust, you know, eruption dust, but to them are like little life force particles floating throughout space. They were explaining to me that a lot of this dust from the volcano, volcanic eruption, started to get sucked into kind of vacuums within space and condensed into stars that had been formed. And they were giving me an example 
or showing me visually that this is how our whole universe continues to stay connected through matter, not just through energy and light and information. And so a lot of our volcanic dust actually has gone into creating a new stars around the galaxy. And over time, there's going to come a point where those stars once again implode and their dust goes everywhere. And it's kind of like the cycle they were showing me that, you know, we have a saying here on Earth that we're all stardust. Um, where the dust from that star that will explode in the future that contains some of Mount Taupo's uh, volcanic ashes and, and um, plume and so forth is, is actually going to be creating other beings. So that's just sort of what they quickly showed me before I went live today, and I haven't quite digested it at all. So you might have some more insight or feelings or knowledge around that. Um, I ask you to keep that in mind that we're all connected. And I know that you're very well aware that we are through energy, light and information, but also just giving some reverence to how the matter that makes us up and our planet up is also connected galactically um, and universally as well. So I'm holding a, um, a bottle of water here. And after this transmission, I'm going to do crystallography on it, which is a process that a woman called Veda Austin in New Zealand developed. And that is freezing the water for about five minutes or so and then seeing what's, how it's structured. So I'm just asking this water to participate um, and interact with us if it wants to, um, just to show us any messages or images that it wishes to. It doesn't have to. It's you know just only if it wants to. Um, and just see how it's being structured through the transmission that Denise and I are doing today. And it could be indicative of the kind of structures that are going or structural change that you'll be going through as well during this transmission, seeing as you are also made of water. So I can see that it's all coming through for Denise. So I'm going to pass it over to you, Denise. Mm, thank you, Gina. Um, it just feels like this information that you were bringing through then has just been like coded. So we're receiving all that because it was a very, very, um, very important transmission that you just, we've just received. So thank you for that. I'll just put the time on, sorry. Jirakaya ka kiam tere ka ki ka ngiang ka ti ka ka ti a ki ka ka ni ke ka ying ka 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 koi ki a ya ko to mari ka ko ma ka ni ka ka te ki ka ko ne a ko to mari ka ki a ka ya ko tai ki a ki a ngi ya ko to mari ki ka ngi ya ka na. Kwa ma kinga, ko ma kani kanginga. Ko ma kia kia kwa, ko to mari kia ka kwa ma. Kinga, ko no ma moe moe nginga nginga. Ko mai a kana to mari ko ma moe moe moe. Kinga ngongo ma kinginga. Ko ma ki am dere kan kian ka ko ma ko ma ki kana ko ma kinga ko ma katoya kinga ya ko ma kinga ko to ma kinga ka ko ma ko to ma kinga ko ma ni angu mo ma ko ma mi a ko ko mo ko kinga kinga. Koma ka koto ma koto mari kani a koto ma kono ma buri a koto ma kuku ko a kinga kato kinga kinga koto ma kato ma koto ma ya kuku ko a ma kati ka koto ma ka shiraku kane ya koto ma ya koto mu koko koto mu koto mu koto ma koto mu koto mu ma koto mu mongo no mu mu ninya mu 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 ninya mu 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 m
Jadi akhirnya kita kena 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 Just integrating the codes. Just breathe deeply, anchoring to the crystalline core of Gaia. The waters within and without. In the cosmic waters. Thank you for that transmission. 
So continuing to breathe in deep, the water that you have, if you're uh, participating with a glass of water or a bottle of water, um, feel free to place it somewhere special in a water source or in a plant or in a tree. And maybe you want to drink half of it. I'm going to drink, I'm going to do crystallography with this and then drink the rest of it. Um, and allow those vibrations, those codes, the light, the energy information that's being structured in the water and received to enter myself as well. It just sort of helps reinforce it. I mean, it's already within my body, but it just helps sort of reinforce it and anchor it in. And through that, really, really um, felt very deeply as though a lot of golden energy and codes were being bubbled through the waters really somehow is almost like a real bubble sound a real bubble feeling that helped to really get all the golden light going through deep into Lake Taupo and deep within our own water cells mm. and really got the strong message that our capacity or water's capacity to be more precise especially in Lake Taupo, but everywhere, is the water is increasing its capacity to hold light. And through that transmission, I really felt the golden light and water's capacity to hold all the information and codes and coming through in that golden light really strong. And so its capacity is increasing. And the beautiful thing about that is that what water does, we do. So if water can hold and increase its capacity to hold even more light than what it already does, it means that we are shifting into that as well, um, which is amazing. And then they gave me a whole new topic to talk about, which I won't talk about in this one. <laughs> but they were mentioning that, you know, we currently talk about four phases of water, the liquid gas solid, as well as a gel plasma-like form, and that by the end of this decade we'll be talking about seven phases of water and by the end of the century 27 phases of water which means that our understanding of water is going to continue to grow and grow and grow and for me water also represents our subconscious and our consciousness which means I guess our consciousness is continuing to expand which yeah just a lovely way to look at it I guess but like I say, I think that's going to be a whole new topic because I feel like I can start talking about that for a long time now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gina, for this opportunity and the and the beings who brought this through as well and the waters, of course, for where it's all a co-creation. Um, and also just flow with this transmission. Don't try and analyse or anything. Just just be with it, be present with it and with the water that you um, you, you you drink. And um, yeah, just be in flow and just allow feeling and just be totally present. That's the best you can do. Yeah, and honor, honor the waters. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs>